All right, guys. First stop is Five of One Horai. They are famous for their uh, butama, which is like a pork bun, and their shumai. This is their chuka potato, which translates to Chinese potatoes. These are basically deep fried caramelized sweet potatoes, and they are the best. I swear to God, I have never had better ones in the entire country. And I have you ever tried this before? No, I mean I know the Five Five One Horai. Mm -hmm. This yep. is very very famous Super in Osaka, famous. but. I've never seen this before. Oh, you gotta try this one. Yeah. And you can only buy this at um, some of the stores. Like, you cannot find this at the train station. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They only sell it very at rare. their main stores. It should be very special. Yeah, give it a try. Dakimasu. Uh. Mm. Right? Mm. 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 Different, right? Mm. Outside is crispy. Mm. Surprise. This is just like. You're actually chewing the caramel, mm -hmm. but it's not. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yep. I like it. This is new to me. Good. I'm so Very happy. New. So wow. glad we stopped by. So second place, already sweet. <laughs> Lord Stout's Bakery. Look, egg tart. Egg tart. I remember uh, we ate egg tart in Macau. That's so good. Oh, so good. Mm. Do you understand mm. what I said? Mm. The surface is caramelized mm. and inside inside the custard part is not super custardy. It's a little bit it's rare, really nicely creamy custard. <laughs> and that the pie around it is so crispy. And then you can actually feel this layer. And I love the, the, the pie part. Yeah. This is the famous Dotonbori. This is where all the tourists come in Osaka. Right in front of this place is a shop called Mankado. And they sell these really interesting things called Mitarashi Dango Pie. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Mitarashi Dango is. But this is Mitarashi Dango inside a pie. It's baked into the pie. It just came out from the oven? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm. Mm. I see the, the layers of the flaky pie crust, but I also see the mochi, I also see the anko. There's anko inside? I love the flakiness of the pie crust. You know what? I think that's the mitarashi sauce. Unfortunately, I can't taste the mitarashi. Me neither. Where is it? Mm. How is it? It's a good pie. Mitarashi? No. Yes. Really? No. You didn't taste it? No. Here's the mitarashi. Really? Yeah. By the way, mitanashi is like a sweet soy sauce mm. flavor. Usually, like uh, um, the dango is dipped into the mitanashi sauce. A little bit uh, grilled, grilled flavor. Really? Yeah. The mitanashi flavor, it's not so, so much, but mm -hmm. it's slight mitanashi flavor. I think all the mitanashi like went down to the bottom, maybe because I was holding it upright. So maybe all the sauce <laughs> went to the bottom. <laughs> maybe. It seems like that. <laughs> But you're right, it mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. More sweet stuff for you guys. We're at this place called Strawberry Mania. And this place sells everything with strawberry in them. Including this strawberry daifuku and this strawberry eclair. Look at that. This is like so Instagrammable. Oh yeah. Right? I mean, Look at that. And it's crazy. They're thinking There's, about it now. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty popular shop. There's so many people behind us right now. Um, so, should we start with that one? Okay. That one looks amazing. Yeah. Look at all the different layers in this one. And it smells so nice. Kind of like a hot dog. <laughs> mm, mm, How was mm, it? Mm. Right, actually, there's like three different cream. Yeah. That's whipped cream, there's strawberry cream, there's mm, chocolate, chocolate cream, cream, and fresh strawberries as well. And as you chew, mm -hmm. the strawberry taste gets stronger. Really? Next, we found Haicham. Asian cuisine street food. It's a lot of street foods here, and we bought pork buns and shaolong pao. And they, what's the speciality of them is they are using tapioca flour for these skin or buns. I'm just so excited to try this please, out. Please eat it. Yeah, because especially today is just so freezing. Yes. How is it? Yeah? Umai. <laughs> Umai. Umai. Mm, it's good. Should be very mm. good. The, the skin should be very chewy, I guess, mm -hmm. because of the bubble powder. Mm -hmm. A little bit mochi mochi. Mochi mochi. mochi. Chewy. Mm. Mm. 
The sauce, I think this sauce is good. A、mm. little bit sweet soy sauce,、mm. but not just soy sauce. Sweet vinegar soy sauce.、Mm. And then the, the garlic actually makes the taste kind of strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Which is good, especially in this cold weather.、Mm. Yeah! How are you? Different texture? Mm. Thinking? Thinking? <laughs> okay, いただきます Mmm, mm, this is chewy.、Mm. And I love the smell of this bomb. Mmm, mm. mm. yeah? I love the smell of this skin. It's a little bit like sour smell. Is it? Like a fermented yeasty smell. Yeah, that, I guess that's a yeasty smell. That's what、right? I、the、love、yeast. about it. Yeah, that's right,、mm. yeast. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm just so addicted to yeast.、Mm. This is、oh, like really? a fermented. The fermented. To, yeah. It is very nice, isn't it? It's very, I love very, it. like, it makes you hungry. Yeah. Like, a, it makes、it's、you hungry、like、kind a, of smell. It has the bread, has it.、Mm-hmm. Rice has it.、Mm-hmm. Like, a, all those, like, a basic、mm-hmm. food. That、yeah. has a smell. Yeah, yeah. And I love it. Right. The inside is, I, I believe it's、um, some kind of pork, maybe a mixture of pork and chicken. There's、uh, chives inside. It's very flavorful. I think it goes really well with the,、uh, the bun. The it's bun. not so heavy. It's not oily at all. The guy's making fried rice behind <laughs> us. I'm just so excited to actually see it. Ganso ice dog. Look.、Mm. Hot dog bread. It's just deep fried. And on top of that, it's ice cream. <laughs> Hot buns and cold soft serve. It's, it is melting, melting. We have to eat soon. Oh wow, it looks so soft. Oh my、mm. goodness. So, so light. Fluffy, super fluffy. Ah, it's still warm. Warm, so it's a sakuto. Have you、fluffy. ever had it before? This is my first time. First time?、Mm. It actually says ganso, means original.、Yeah. So, I was just wondering if there are other places that. Really? Yep, there are copies.、Mm. Okay, so it actually started from here? Yes. Wow. Yes. Right. This oil, oil, I understand. It's very smooth, clear flavor. It's not oily. You don't even need to、mm. bite. It's Just、you know, the, the bread actually c o m e into my mouth、yeah. and it just drops it.、Yeah. And you can eat it's it. It's like a melting.、Oh, wow! wow. So, next we are at Kin no Torikawa at Denden Town. This color is very different from which I eat every day. It's like a. Oh, really? Yeah. How? The shape is different. It's、oh. uh, regularly that It's more square or ball s t y l What shall I say? More large size.、Mm-hmm. This is like. Thing, kind of thin. thin. Which so, sauce would you recommend? Maybe. The, the, oh, the, sweet chili the sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Yes. And yes. karashi mayonnaise it has a, in a big bottle. So、mm-hmm. maybe this is the, the recommendation. Okay. So sweet chili. Kin no torikara actually is、and、a golden、uh, deep fried chicken. Karashi mayonnaise. Oh my goodness. That chicken actually looks like a chicken, doesn't yes. it? This one has sweet chili sauce on it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very simple. It's nice street food. I like it. Yeah, I like chili sauce anyway.、Mm. Regularly, I, I prefer chicken thigh, chicken thigh kara a g e But I understand. This is, this is not chicken thigh, this is chicken breast,、mm. but it's good. This、mm. is better than I imagined. Okay, so we're at this place called Tokushin, and we got this because this is very, very unique. This is something called a tako sen,、mm. sen for senbei or, or crackers. So basically, in between these two thin layers of crackers,、mm. don't that, let that scare you, inside there are takoyaki balls that are flattened. They're inside with some tempura batter, like deep fried tempura batter.、Mm. And she also smothered this、uh, sauce in it. And anyway, we cannot take it out of this package because she says it's very, very fragile. So you gotta eat it in the package. So go ahead, Aisa. Really? Yes. Wow. I've had this before. It's really good. Right. Eat that, I keep my ass. I'm so excited to have this. Mmm. It's、oh, good,、God. right? It's good, right? 
All the flavors. Yeah, right? inside mm. it. And there's mayonnaise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise inside it. And sauce. Sauce. Mm. And takoyaki, of course. Mm. And this is only 220 yen. That's like two American dollars for this gigantic snack. Yeah. It's hearty and it's like super, super satisfying. Well, if I live around here, I just get it every day. Me too. For my snack. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got one more place to go, and this place is called Haradako. This is. I believe the best takoyaki that you can eat in the entire country. Trust me, this is this is the best. Especially if you like green onions. They're using special green onions from Kyoto. It's called Kujonegi and it's six pieces for 580 yen. Um, if you don't like the negi, just get the one without the negi. It's 480 for six pieces, but the takoyaki here is just unbeatable. Oh. oh man, this one's the best. Okay, first place we're gonna check out is the tofu shop. So, I got soy milk, very thick soy milk from Takahashi. They've been operated over 80 years. This soy milk is the thickest soy milk in Osaka. Mmm. Mmm. This one has a very fresh soy milk flavor and it's thick. It's really like soybean. Yes, eating like edamame. It's not only thick, it's super rich and creamy. Oh, it's amazing. This is actually one of my favorite shops. I'm so happy that they are still in business. I have a feeling they are going to continue to keep doing business here as long as this nice guy is alive. He also has really good uh, tofu donuts that they make fresh here. The last time we were here, we had those. Very, very delicious as well. And of course, if, if, you have, uh, if you're staying in an Airbnb uh, or somewhere that has a kitchen somewhere around here, you can also get his freshly made tofu, made daily. So next place which tempted me is Mansai. They sell deep fried fish cake. Tempura, aka tempura. Look. I love this kind of stuff, deep fried tempura. This one is a fish cake with asparagus and shrimp. I love shrimp flavor. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Pickled red ginger tempura is a favorite in this city. Itadakimasu. Mmm. I love Beni Shoga tempura. Beni Shoga already has flavor. It's a pretty intense gingery flavor, but it's pickled, so it's also a little bit sour. Mm. Mm. You really don't need anything. Mm. Look at all that pickled ginger on the inside. So we are at a shop called Uofku. It's located on one of the corners inside the market. And I got myself grilled scallops with soy sauce and butter. Smells amazing. You know, uh, these are fresh scallops thrown in from Hokkaido every single day. The man, he uh, opens it up right in front of you, cleans it, and then the lady grills it over hot charcoal. Oh, it's so good. So let's try it out. So they said, don't add anything else to it. You just eat it like this. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God, look at all that. Oh, itadakimasu. Amazing. Mm, amazing, so fresh. I love fresh scallops. And guys, this is a pretty big scallop. Let's take another bite. You know, I actually like this part of the uh, scallop. It's one of my favorite parts of the scallop. Mm, that texture, that a little bit of chewy texture. The scallop takes the flavor of the soy sauce and the Hokkaido butter goes so well together. Look at that. Ah, dripping with scallop juice and butter. This is very big oyster and plumpy. It looks so fresh. I want to try this one. This was yuzu sko. Yeah, yuzu is Japanese citrus with sko. Sko means like tabasco. Hoa yuzu sko on this oyster. Mmm. 
เยอืมอืม juicy milky and this condiment you just go works very nicely it's yeah good oyster flavor umami mm. it has a beautiful flavor of ocean mm. right across from Uofuku that shop that we went to for the scallops and the oyster is Maguroya Kurogi which is also on the corner so you cannot miss it and they make fresh sushi and fresh sashimi bowls for you in front of you so super super fresh i got the maguro and salmon donburi rice bowl and this is what it looks like look at that you got some pieces of salmon you have a uh, maguro the red meat you got some chopped up toro and you have ikura salmon roll with wasabi so i'm gonna pour some soy sauce all over this beauty here we go. A lot of people prefer toro or chu toro, but to be honest with you, I am a huge fan of the akami, which is like the red meat. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, that is like amazingly fresh. Oh, that's good. Okay, I was kind of shocked. Mmm. Okay, let, let me let me dig into the rice as well. So we got some of the, the chopped up toro and the ikura. And let's enjoy it with some rice. Mmm. It's really good. I don't know why I was expecting less, but it's really good. What is it? Salmon and maguro is two of my favorite fish as far as sashimi is concerned. I don't know about you guys, what's your favorite type of sashimi? I don't really eat things like uni. And that is the piece of salmon right there. Mmm. Nice and fatty. Mmm. I'm gonna have some rice with this. Mmm. Mm. And the rice is seasoned perfectly. It's not too sour. Perfect amount of vinegar. Mmm, delicious. Always have to come here to a shop called Naniwaya. I love the couple that runs this place. They're always so kind to me. And they specialize in this thing called soba mochi, which Satoshi is going to be eating. I'm going to be trying something that's very popular with your visitors from Hawaii. The Ichigo Mochi Mochi Omelette. Strawberry Mochi Mochi Omelette. That is a very thin layer of mochi surrounding some fresh strawberries and inside I believe there's some whipped cream and uh, maybe some sponge cake. Anyway, let's give it a go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 No. It's like a strawberry shortcake encased in a thin layer of mochi. It's so good. Mmm. If you like Japanese strawberry shortcake and you like mochi, <laughs> you gotta try this one. Mm -hmm. And this is their signature sweet, soba mochi, buckwheat cake. So this is their soba mochi. I think they need buckwheat flour inside of this cake pot. And inside is anko. Mmm, smooth, smooth anko paste. Mm. First, this sweet azuki bean paste is really good, not overly sweet, it has a good azuki bean flavor. But I want to mention about this cake part, real buckwheat flavor, like roasted aroma. Mm. It's so good. It's different from other, this kind of manju. Mm. This is the original ikayaki. It is basically a pancake with uh, pieces of squid. It's cooked like a waffle and it's like a really perfect snack. You see, you see pieces of the squid in here. Dewa, itadakimasu. I haven't had these in like, gee, at least 10 years. Mmm. They're even better than I remembered. You see? 
like that's like the perfect amount of okonomiyaki sauce in there perfect snack and it's only like 150 something yen very reasonable you can have like three of these and it'll fill you up one more thing we bought it's called the Deraban. Dera means deluxe. Ban means version. Deluxe version of ikayaki. You can see a lot of egg yolk here. Mmm, 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 mmm. It become closer to okonomiyaki, maybe. Which one I like better? But maybe I prefer the original one, ikayaki, because of this sauce flavor, sauce flavor, and this squid flavor matches nicely. Hirayama Shoten. This is one of the stores that's located outside of the marketplace. First thing I'm gonna try is the kimchi shijimi. Look at that. Oh, it's freshly made. She cut it up for us. We waited for about five minutes, so it's nice and fresh and hot. Look at that. Korean pancake. I see chives in there. The red color is kimchi. They serve with a little bit of sauce. Okay, let's dip it in the sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm, this is good. This is amazing. Freshly grilled. Doesn't get any better than this. A little bit spicy because of the kimchi inside. A lot of cabbage in here. The chives give it a really nice flavor. I like that the outside is a little bit crispy. The inside is soft. And the sauce adds like a nice tartness, kind of like sesame-ish. Mmm, I almost want to order another one. This is another one of my favorite Korean street food topoki. It's basically Korean mochi with some uh, fish cake and it's in this uh, nice kochujang sauce. But it's delicious. Nice and hot too. Mmm. The food here is good. I kind of underestimated. Mmm. Now the mochi has a nice texture. It's soft. Sometimes it can be on the firm side. This, this mochi is really soft. It's not like overly spicy, but definitely has a kick. Piece of fish cake. Mmm, nice flavor. Mmm. I think this could be like one of the best Korean street food I had in Japan. I'm not even joking. In Namba, there are so many casual food and street foods. And Shinichi said this is very delicious. It is called the cabbage yaki. Grilled cabbage, but it's not just a cabbage. It's like a okonomiyaki. This is cabbage, cabbage yaki. There are so many shredded cabbage inside. And beni shoga, the red ginger, and egg, and green onions as well. And also there is a sakura ebi, the pink shrimp. So, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. The pancake part is soft and fluffy. And the cabbage is shaki shaki to. And this sweet sauce is really good. On the pancake, they, they put egg and cabbage. I like this flavor and texture, the sweetness and texture. So we just entered Kurumo Market. We want to see what's new. And as soon as we enter, we notice that there are many new shops. For example, this fruit stand here wasn't here before. And if you see some fruits that you like, some of the fruits at least, they will cut it up for you. So that's good. And then here, like we've never seen this um, chiffon cake place, like this bread shop here selling bread outside. Maybe it was, but we did not realize. Really? I don't know, I've never seen it before. I've been here many, many times. So this shop is named Sambad. They sell breads and also this chiffon cake. They sell bread from the morning at 9 a.m. It's still before 11, but the breads are already sold out. Very popular shop, I think. And this one is an orange chiffon cake. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou. Ah, The shop lady is very sweet. She gave me this towel. The lady literally walked over here from her shop over there uh, to give us these wet towels. She's so sweet. Jiguri, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. 
You know, I love Castella. Much more lighter, airy and fluffy than Castella. This orange flavor is really good. You can actually see bits of orange and orange peel in the chiffon cake. This is Kurumon Burger Makotoya. They sell these really unique burgers. We got something called the Japan Burger. This is it. It's incredible looking and it smells really unique. This one has nori, tomato and uh, there's also some bonito flakes as well as, you said green sauce? That's their wasabi sauce. Mmm! Oishi, that is a good burger. I mean, I like how different it is. It's very, very Japanese in taste. It's almost like eating like teppanyaki and you get all the Japanese flavors. And the wasabi is not super strong, so I like it. It's, it's like a it's like just, just a perfect wasabi aroma and flavor uh, and it blends so well with the burger patty. The burger patty is cooked perfectly. Outside is a little bit crispy, inside is juicy and the bun is toasted and soft. Oh, I like this. The wasabi sauce is stronger in the middle or something. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> really? So this is one of the seafood places that we recommend because this place has been doing business since 1905, over 100 years. The place is called Fukehiro. Two of the reasons why we like this place. All the seafood is very fresh because they are a fish shop. And number two, prices are one of the more reasonable ones here in Kurumo Market. Today we bought two scallops. The mine is raw sashimi scallop. Right, and mine is grilled. And so the way they charge you here, it was a 350 yen per scallop. If you want a sashimi, it's an extra 50 yen because uh, the guy has to cut it up. And mine is grilled, so that this is an extra 100 yen. Still very reasonable for fresh seafood, especially in this area. This time I pour up sashimi soy sauce and my grilled scallop. Look, look at this, it's so tender. It cuts so easily with my chopsticks. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, my grilled scallop is so good. They grilled it perfectly. It's not overcooked and it's flavored with a little bit of butter and soy sauce. So nice scallop and easy to, easy to eat. Mm. I, I thought it's too big, but it's not. Very tender oh. scallop meat. So oh. good. Doesn't this make your mouth water? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Next we came to Ebisu Basisuji Shoten Gai. This is uh, near Dotonbori area and the red vivid color calling my name. Strawberry Mania. Look, so many strawberries in front of their shop. And this is a candy, candied strawberry. Mm. Oh. Makaka. Inside is also very red and it's sweet. The sweetness is not only from this candy part, it's also from this strawberry. This strawberry is so sweet. Alright guys, so we are here at the most popular place in Osaka. This is Dotonbori. It's like Times Square really. There's so many tourists here and if you come here, you have to get takoyaki. Takoyaki is the iconic street food of Osaka and it's actually the best in Osaka. All right, so obviously we had to get takoyaki. This is from one of the most popular takoyaki shops on this trip. This is Wanaka. And we got the eight pieces. And this is with extra green onions for an additional charge. Of course, it's your choice, but we recommend getting all the toppings, which is mayonnaise and bonito flakes. And you can choose between four different sauces. We got salt because that is what's recommended. Itadakimasu. Mmm, it's so creamy. It's so creamy and oh, it's perfect with salt. That's the way I like it. A lot of people prefer it with the takoyaki sauce, but I myself like it with salt. That way you can taste the, the original flavor of this takoyaki. I love takoyaki. I usually eat with sauce, but this time it's flavored with, it's seasoned with it. salt. Mm. Mmm, I love this creaminess inside of this takoyaki bowl. You know, very nice, chewy, 
octopus with this green onion. I always add green onion. Green onion is an optional topping, but I recommend you to eat with onion, green onions. Mm, it's so flavorful. It gives a good accent. Seriously, eating takoyaki in Dotonbori is one of the pleasures of life. We came to Kita area. Kita means north, around Umeda station. This shop is Chiyomatsu. It's about seven or eight minutes walking from Umeda station. What is special is this very, very thick katsando. The, the, the width or the thickness is about five centimeters means two inches, about two inches, sprinkled with black pepper and parsley with mustard. So this is a basic katsu sando. Very thick, very, very thick. It's my, my, my mouth is so, I don't know, my mouth is such huge, such big mouth. I, Mmm, I almost forgot. This is katsu. <laughs> In my mind, it's steak, pork steak, very thick pork steak. Tender, good pork flavor. Mmm, and the ratio of fat and lean part is nice. Bread is nicely toasted. It has a saksaku texture. Mustard gives an accent. Tonkatsu sauce is sweet. A little bit challenging to eat, but very fun. Unbelievably tender pork meat. They're using top quality domestic pork. They're using the best bread and they have a special in-house sauce that they make. So it's not your store-bought tonkatsu sauce. It's a little bit tomato-y. You know what the meat reminds me of? It reminds me of like char siu inside ramen. You know how like tender and melt in your mouth it is? That's what it reminds me of. That is how tender it is. The flavor is also similar. Once again, notice how thick it is. This is Japan's thickest tonkatsu sandwich. Last place is mix juice. This is Osaka people's favorite drink. Everybody loves this mix juice. This shop is located near Hanshin Osaka Umeda station gate, right next to South Exit F23. So this is a basic mix juice. The shop is also called mix juice. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Oishi. This one is made with banana, apple, or peach, and milk. It is so cold like that. It is the secret, secret recipe. I can taste the banana, peach, and orange. The great point of this drink is lightly slushy. Not perfectly slushy. There are some bits of ice. So, its texture is interesting. This tastes super nostalgic to me and I really needed some vitamins in my system. So this is perfect. Like Satoshi said, mixed juice is an Osaka thing. It's been around for so long. For some reason, it's especially popular here in Osaka. You don't really find this mixed juice in Tokyo, for example. Usually you don't find mixed juice with milk in it. So next time when you're in Osaka, definitely give this a try.